Are you prepared for an emergency? It's the question the Federal Emergency Management Agency wants you to ask yourself during National Preparedness Month. The tornadoes that hit the Fox Valley last month left many unprepared and without power for days. Fox 11's Chad Duran takes a closer look at what it takes to be ready to weather a storm. The tornadoes on August 7th came fast and furious through the Fox Valley. Left behind was more than 30 million in damage thousands of homes without power for days. That was very much a wake-up call. There were a lot of people who were ill-prepared to deal with the fact that we were without electrical service for, you know, two, three days. And Leffelholt says for many, it's not necessarily a costly precautionary step to take. A basic emergency kit should consist of a flashlight, weather radio, spare batteries, first aid kit, and enough canned food and water to last for at least three days. Leffelholt says much of it can be put together for $100 or less, but it can be a priceless resource in an emergency. You don't need to go out and spend four or $500 on an emergency kit. Mm -hmm. You can get basic supplies from around your home and pick up a few extra things and, and put them in a tote, put them in a tub, and you have got yourself an emergency supply kit. Many people think because we live in a big city, they have all the resources they need at their fingertips. Good question, I don't know. I don't know why I don't have one. <laughs> but Leffelholt says waiting till the last minute could mean you might be too late. It's kind of like when, when a blizzard is expected, everybody makes a run on the grocery store for milk, bread, and eggs, you know, because they're, they're sure that they're not going to get out. Mm -hmm. Well, you need to have those things in place. The county is also reviewing its own response to the August 7th storms when sirens did not sound and a backup generator at a repeater tower was not connected. Leffelholt says now is the time for everyone, including the county, to review their emergency plans. As you said, everyone needs to be prepared. And being caught unprepared isn't something Paul Wirch plans to let happen to his family of five. Well, it's all about being prepared, give, giving yourself an opportunity to prepare for what's coming up next. Christina Ron lost power for a day during the August storm. She says she moved to Appleton from Florida, where she had an emergency kit for hurricanes. And she says she plans on getting one here now as well. It's just kind of getting up and go getting one. Yeah. So it is important though. Important to be ready for the next storm where the question is not if, but when it will hit. In Appleton, Chad Doran, Fox 11 News. Level Hole says it's also important to practice and share your emergency plan with family and friends and discuss ways to communicate after the storm.